My name is Stanis Clifoni and welcome to how to test degraded and rebuilding mode on a QNAP device. I'm recording this video for personal training and it will take about 5 minutes. So let's start. In this video I'm going to test the RAID array for a QNAP device TS531X. The goal for this video is to test the QNAP device in degraded and rebuilding mode. What I'm going to do now is to carefully remove the bay 5 on the array. I've also configured the notification so you can see the mail that you will receive. I'm going to simulate a multiple disk failure, carefully removing also Bay 4. As I'm using RAID 6 technology or algorithm, I want to verify that the volume is still available even if in degraded state. This device is working as a surveillance station and as you can see, all the recording are still available. And if you want to learn more about the RAID algorithm to use, I've created a video called How to Deploy a QNAP Device for Business Use. Bay 4 is now back to the array and the rebuilding has started. And if you want to have a possible estimation time of a full rebuild, I usually use the empty stop command. And as you can see, we have now 55 minutes left. I'm going now to add the bay 5, and if you can see, the current rebuilding will be skipped, and another new rebuilding will start. And then it's up to you to consider to start the rebuilding during the night hours or during the daily business hours. During the rebuilding, the CPU and the memory in use has a very low and stable value. And we are now near the end of this video, so as you can see, for disk 1, 2 and 3, we have high value on reads, while for disk 4 and 5, we have high value on writes. So thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel or let's keep in touch through my website for any kind of request. Bye!